Taylor Swift is moving on to movies now that she has ruled the pop charts. Her 10th studio album, Midnights, came out earlier this year. Her most recent endeavor was the promotion and planning of the era's tour. She hasn't gone on tour for quite some time, exactly two years since reputation in 2017. So the musician decided it was about time. The company in charge of selling tickets for her next tour, Ticketmaster, reported that more than 2 million were purchased on the first day, setting a record for an artist. Since Taylor has already decided what her next endeavor will be, and it has nothing to do with music, her career is undoubtedly at its pinnacle, or so we thought. For Swifties, hearing that she is finally moving from making award-winning short films and cult-favorite music videos to movies is like Christmas morning coming early. With Searchlight Pictures, she will direct her first full-length movie. Searchlight Pictures said in a press release that Swift has written a new script for the project. More details are yet to be announced in the near future. What to know about this upcoming movie? Let's talk about it in today's video. David Greenbaum and Matthew Greenfield, the presidents of Searchlight Pictures, said that the film is an exciting and new creative journey when they talked about the news. Taylor is an artist and storyteller who comes along once in a generation, he added. It's a real pleasure and honor to work with her as she starts this new and exciting creative journey. This move toward Hollywood is a change for the 11-time Grammy winner, but it might not be too surprising given that she worked on a 14-minute short film for the song, All Too Well, that came out with the re-release of her fourth album, Red. Swift directed Folklore, The Long Pond Studio Sessions, a Disney Plus documentary about how her eighth studio album, also called Folklore, was made the year before. Swift has also directed some of her own music videos, like Mine in 2010 and Antihero and Bejeweled from Midnight's more recently. Dylan O'Brien and Sadie Sink were in the short film, which was directed by Swift. Swift talked about how she directs in a behind-the-scenes video that came out on December 8th. Yes! Oh that was literally, literally perfect cut. We have a I loved every second of it, and I will always remember it. All. Two. Well. She wrote in the caption of the video-related Instagram post. Taylor Swift won the Best Direction Award at the 2022 VMAs for her work on All Too Well, the short film. In 2020, she won the same award for The Man. This makes her the only person to ever win two Best Direction Awards as a solo artist. Swift has been praised for her work as a director. She will be on Variety's Directors on Directors series, in which famous directors like James Cameron and Ryan Coogler talk with each other. She will talk to Martin McDonough, a director who has won an Oscar and whose film, The Banshees of Innes Heron, has been talked about for awards. In June of 2022, when All Too Well, the short film, was shown at the Tribeca Film Festival, Swift talked about how she makes music and how she has turned times of loss into art. It's because a lot of my hardest moments and moments of extreme grief or loss were galvanized into what my life looks like now," she added. I'm very happy with where my life is now, getting to create with people like you, getting to speak with someone like you. It all comes from something that was hard to get through. Given that Taylor only hangs out with other famous supernovas, we don't think she'll have any trouble getting the right people for this project. The question on everyone's mind, though, is whether or not Taylor will release new music to go along with the debut. We'll have to wait and see what happens. In typical Taylor Swift fashion, she hasn't said what the name of her first movie as a director will be.
But don't worry, we expect Taylor to leave clues, crumbs, and Easter eggs along the way that point to the name. In terms of the release date of the movie, Taylor hasn't given us any hints about when this one will be in theaters. But if we do some investigating, we can probably guess that it won't come out until at least 2024. Taylor said in November that she is going on a world tour, so it might not be possible for her to spend a few months in 2023 filming a movie that could win an Oscar. Plus, when we think about post-production, it's likely that the movie won't come out for a while. We can't stand to wait any longer. Again, Taylor hasn't said anything about who will be in the movie. But because Taylor is friends with some of the best actors of our time, we can be sure that this will be the Super Bowl of celebrity appearances. Joe Allen, who plays Taylor's boyfriend on screen, might be making his first appearance in the Taylor Swift universe. Or she might ask her best friends, the Hyam sisters, to help her with this project. This idea isn't too far-fetched, given that they were just in her dazzling, bejeweled music video. If we had our way, Sadie Sink and Dylan O'Brien would just play the same roles they did in All Too Well, the short film. Are you excited for Taylor Swift's first full-length movie? Do you think it will win another Oscars? Please let us know in the comment section below. We are thrilled to know what you think, and we are happy to celebrate with you. As always, stay awesome, thank you so much for watching and see you at the next one.